everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because we are doing a skincare routine. I have all of my skincare goodies here. Oh my gosh. I don't know how YouTubers do this and like hold up all the products. But yes, today we are doing my skincare routine, which I'm super excited to share. This has been a video that I've wanted to do um, and I was on my list for a while now. I was looking at my skin and I just noticed that it's come such a long way as far as being um, way more clear, um, just like kind of glowing from within. Right now for this video, I only have a little bit of concealer under my eyes um, and a little bit on my chin. Other than that, I don't have any powder, I don't have any foundation, I don't have any highlight on, I don't have any products on my face. Um, so just showing you what my face is looking like right now. I just wanted to say a couple of quick things about having a skincare routine. So before I had this routine that I have here right now, I really did not put a lot of thought and care into my skincare products. Um, I was using just a drugstore wash that was on sale. I think it was one of those, like it was pink. I think it had like little beads in it, which now I know aren't really great for your skin or for the environment. Um, and then I just had like, uh, I think a Vino um, moisturizer that had some SPF in it. And I had my cellar water and I would do occasionally like little face mask and like that was it. I knew that that needed to change. I knew that I wanted to get some skincare, but as often happens to me when I'm in school, I get really, really focused on college and my classes and all that stuff. And I kind of put off, you know, that self care. And that's something that I really wanted to change in 2020. Um, so after the pandemic happened and I was home, I took that kind of downtime that happened with everything in the world going on um, and did some research into skincare. And I knew that this was a time for me to really be serious and go and get some really good products. And to my surprise, you do not need to spend a lot of money to get some quality products that are really going to make your skin better. Um, so I kept thinking I had to like invest in my skincare, but honestly, the products I'm showing here today, I'll put the prices on the screen. They're extremely affordable and great for us on college budgets. I think there's something really great about having a skincare routine and a regimen, not just for your skin, but also for your self-care and well-being. So having a nice skincare routine that really makes me feel good, like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It sounds very dramatic, but um, it's true. Like, it really does make you feel good to know that you have this routine that's working good for your skin, but it's also just like, feels like you're pampering yourself up every single day. I really like it. I like having a nice skincare routine. And as mentioned, it, you don't have to spend a lot of money to just have, a nice routine that you can do day and night. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Sorry, I'm gonna get into the products, but I just wanted to kind of say that and put that out there, especially for my fellow college students who are watching, that it is important to take that time out um, and take care of yourself. So yeah, that's my little message. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my routine and talk about the products and why I like them. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I use is the CeraVe cleanser. So this cleanser is for normal to oily skin, which is how I would describe my skin. It's definitely normal, it's a combination. Um, even now, I don't have any makeup on and you can see kind of some of the oil that's starting to build up. So I usually get oily over here in kind of the T-zone, um, but like this part of my forehead is usually kind of dry. So definitely like combination skin. So I really like this cleanser. It has some really great ingredients. It goes onto the skin super smoothly. I really like foaming cleansers to so just kind of like work them out, foamy, really get it in there. Um, I found that it really helps to clear off my skin, to get off my makeup, any dirt, and just like really leaves my skin feeling nice and clean afterwards. So after I wash my face, I use this serum that I think is my absolute favorite. It's the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. It has 10% niacinamide, 1% zinc, and this is really great for blemished skin, so I've learned <laughs> through some research. Um, and I think this has really helped. As far as my skin, I definitely had a lot of dark spots and blemishes, um, and I've noticed them extremely start to clear up. I love how this feels on my skin. It gives me great moisture after I wash my skin to the point that 
I still do add moisturizer, but like it does really add that moisture back um, and it feels amazing. So I use this in the day and in the night. Next, I have the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And when I bought this, I didn't realize that this was for normal to dry skin, because as I mentioned, I do have normal to oily skin, but I find that it still works fine. It doesn't make my skin overly um, oily or moisturized. It actually goes into my skin really nicely. Um, so I think this works fine, even though it does say it's for drier skin. And even though we're in the summertime, I really feel like I haven't noticed any like over oiliness or like over moisturize at all. So while I do really like the CeraVe moisturizer, I also love this moisturizer from Shea Moisture. And this is the African Black Soap Balancing Moisturizer and it has tea tree oil for blemish prone skin. As I mentioned, um, as you can see in my before pictures, I definitely had a lot of blemishes and dark spots. Um, and so I thought I would pick up this moisturizer and see how it works. This one is more of a thicker formula. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a thicker formula. You can see just the thickness of that. But even though this one is more thick, it glides and sinks right into my skin, like very lightweight. Um, I was a little bit hesitant of this moisturizer because I didn't want something so thick to feel like it kind of like clogs you up or like break out or something, especially since it has like tea tree oil or like other extracts. I just um, wasn't sure how my skin might react, but my skin loves this. Um, so I really love to use this in the night specifically, just cause it's a little bit thicker than the CeraVe moisturizer. Um, but sometimes I also use this one in the day because I really love it. It also smells just absolutely amazing. But I really do feel like between this moisturizer and the niacinamide, it has really played a key role in clearing up my blemishes, absolutely. I do know that if you're more acne prone and you have more like blackheads and stuff, then it might be good to also throw in some salicylic acid into your um, your routine as well. For me, I I don't really have that many breakouts. It kind of, I might just like spring up and have a couple pimples. So I don't have um, salicylic acid like in my daily routine because um, I'm not that acne prone, um, but I am on the lookout for a good like spot treatment when I do get a breakout. So that's something else that I want to be sure to add to my routine. Next product that I started using recently, and I think um, I've only been using this for a couple days, um, but I wanted to share my skincare routine, so I'll throw it in here. And this is the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension. Um, and I think this has really helped already to show that brightening to my face. So my face with my other products has been very clear, but I already noticed within a couple few days that my skin looks more radiant than it did before. Um, and the only thing I changed is added in this product. And so, so far, only a couple days, so, um, but so far I'm, I'm really liking this product. So next up, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me talk about this product a little bit. And this is the Dermatology um, Broad Spectrum S SPF. <laughs> so as you know, SPF is extremely important to have in your daily routine, um, especially for us with black, skin and melanin. Um, it's important for us to wear SPF as well. I know it's kind of like a myth, um, especially growing up, is that like, oh, we don't really need SPF, but we do. For me, as you know, I'm from St. Martin in the Caribbean and um, did not wear SPF growing up, even though we had like direct sunlight, you know, that Caribbean sunlight beaming down um, and didn't wear SPF. So I think it is, it is really important. Um, and I wish I would have known that back then. This one's great because it doesn't leave a white cast on my face. Like it just goes in and disappears, which is great. It also smells fine. Um, the ingredients, it has like some really nice working ingredients as well. Um, it also has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And then it has transparent zinc oxide, which works to protect your skin against the UV rays. So this is a product that I'm almost out of, but I really do like having a micellar cleansing water in my routine as well. But I think a micellar water is great for taking off your makeup. Um, since I've been home, basically I've really been wearing makeup less, but on days when I do wear makeup, um, I like to take this off with a cotton swab first, and then I start to go in with my cleanser. Um, so it's kind of like a little double cleanse um, system. So this just kind of helps get all the makeup off, kind of melt it away, and then I'll go in with my cleanser. Finally, I have this um, chemical exfoliant facial, and this is from The Ordinary. It's an AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. 
So this is meant to be a, a exfoliant, but a chemical exfoliant. So I was definitely a person who was using physical exfoliants, um, just getting in there and scrubbing my face. <laughs> and um, I've learned that that's not really the best way. So I picked up this product and I really do like it. It's, I think it's went viral on like TikTok or something um, because it kind of makes your face all like red and it looks cool, I guess, um, but it also works. It doesn't just look good, it also works really well. I find that afterwards my face does feel softer like I like to just like feel my face after I use it. So this can be used up to two times a week. I usually um, will do this on my Sunday skincare routine once a week. Um, occasionally if I feel like my skin is just acting up I might throw it in on like a Wednesday and do a Sunday Wednesday and use it twice a week. Um, definitely don't want to overuse and the maximum amount of time you should leave it on your face is 10 minutes. So I also I always start a timer and just make sure that I'm timing out how long it's on my face to make sure that I don't overly exfoliate my face as well because then that could lead to some negative results rather than positive results. So that is it for my skincare routine. Obviously I'm not trained in skincare or dermatologist or anything like that so I didn't want to ramble on about you know what exactly the products do because um, I'm just not certified to really talk about that <laughs> and put it out here on YouTube as if I know um, but just relaying like information that I've heard from other like skincare YouTubers like from my own research as to why these products are great and just speaking from my own personal experience about using them. And I'm excited for that Fenty skincare launch because of course Rihanna comes out with skincare as soon as I'm getting into skincare, so <laughs> right now. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little skincare routine. So if you like college, lifestyle, and fashion content, I upload new vlogs at least every other Sunday at stylebykai.com. So be sure to check out my website and subscribe to the blog so you're the first one to know when I have new content released. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Like, leave a comment. I'm so excited to have you watch my videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.